Hey guys, how's it going? It's a gorgeous day today, and we are gonna go around the garden and forage for some things to make a wreath for our chicken coop, because that's one area that I have not decorated yet, and I thought it would be fun, and now I plan on doing this before I knew it was supposed to snow. In fact, yesterday I checked the weather app and there was no sign of snow for today, and look at this. It is just coming down and it's absolutely gorgeous, which will make the foraging just more beautiful, I think. We've got some really great things in the garden right now for projects like this, like crab apples, rose hips, uh, boxwood, Leyland cypress, North Pole arb, red twig dogwood, some beautiful seed heads like echinacea and things like that. So I thought it would just be a really fun thing just to go around, see what we can find and create something 100% from plants in the garden. And what an absolute pleasure gathering will be. for me not to get my reflection in this door. 
but I think it's perfect for a chicken coop. It turned out kind of rustic looking. I mean, more so probably because I put the jute uh, ribbon on there, which is totally unnecessary. You don't have to have that on there, but I kind of like that little extra touch. I might, and uh, I don't know, I was thinking of swapping it out for something red, uh, but uh, for now I'm happy with it. It just kind of has a relaxed vibe to it, which I really like. So first off, you can see the ivy. I twisted three stems of ivy around the exterior. We'll see how it holds up. I think it's really beautiful right now. And then you can see like the Leyland Cypress right here has more of a blue vibe to it. And then the Arborvita has a little bit more bronze on the tips, a little bit more of a uh, olive green hue. And then you can see rose hips here. There's crab apples here. This is the Firefly Peach Sky Yarrow right there. We've got red twig dogwood. There are birch, let's see right here, <laughs> catkins right there. Just a beautiful mix of things. It's amazing what you can find if you just go out. And honestly, it doesn't take very much of any of these things to make a wreath like this. So you don't have to like cut down a shrub to get something really beautiful, unless you wanna make a giant wreath. <laughs> but for a normal size wreath here, it really doesn't take that many stems of anything to create it. So I hope it was clear enough to see what I did. I had that wire wreath form, I attached my paddle wire to it, and then you just make little bundles of things. And I tried to get a little bit of everything in each bundle. You lay it on the wreath form, attach it with the wire, never cutting the wire until the very end. And you just kinda like go back and forth with your bundles to where you make it to the other, like to where you started. And then you can kind of slide that last bundle under the first one. And it's a little bit of a tricky process at that point because you know you don't want to pinch down your first bundle. So you kind of have to slide the wire underneath that first bundle to attach it. At that point, I usually cut my wire about a foot or so and I wrap it around twice. It's just easier to thread the wire through that first bundle when you've got it cut. And then you attach it to the back of the wreath form. That's it. You just kind of twist that wire wherever you can find an empty spot. And that's what attaches all of it to the form. So it's one giant piece of wire. And then I made the bow separately and just wired that to the wreath hanger. So if I decide I wanna swap it out for something different, I can, I probably won't though, cause I think it looks cute the way it is. Just really, really happy with it. Russell. Hey dude. So that is it for today's project. Really happy with the outcome and it was just fun to get out here and do something in this beautiful snow. I think Benjamin and I will probably be out here playing a little bit more. It's supposed to be 43 tomorrow. I don't know if I mentioned that already. 43 tomorrow so a lot of it will probably melt. So we are going to just live it up while we can and enjoy it. It's just absolutely beautiful. It covers like all the imperfections that you have in your garden. All of a sudden everything is just gorgeous. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day and we will see you in the next one. Bye. P.S. guys, it's the next day and I'm going to swap the ribbon out for something a little bit brighter. I've been so enjoying the pops of color in our other displays around doorways. And this one, while it looks really sweet and rustic and a little bit more natural, I kind of need something. I need something to just bring a little bit more color. So we're gonna swap this out real quick. Oh yeah, I like that a lot better. And when I back up, see how much better you can see it? Love that.